Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Edwin, good evening. Hi, people. Hi, hi. Oops. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Good evening. Welcome. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Veronica, Jancy, Mayra, Jorge, Carlos, and Edwin. How are you guys? I am okay, teacher, and you? You're okay. Oh, uh, well, I am fine. Thank you for asking. Uh, my day was good. What happened, my day was, my what day happened was in the yesterday? Oh, yesterday, yes. I, I apologize. Wow, Jorge, shh. new look. <laughs> Excellent, that's good, that's good. Hi, Marvin, Ismael, thank you. Paola, welcome. Oh, um, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Thank you for joining. What a pleasure it is to be here again. It's been ages, people, ages. <laughs> now, yesterday, yesterday, for some reason, I do not really uh, know why, but uh, the Delson people cut off, cut off the electricity service for, let me see, one, two, three, four, like for seven hours because they there was the, the blackout the blackout began at 3 p.m at 3 p.m and uh i got it back i got it back at 11 p.m so i could not i could not i tried i tried to be here but i couldn't because i did not have electricity since uh 3 p.m yes yeah, I don't know why these people cut it off, but no tenía luz desde las tres. Hasta las once que vino, once p.m. que regresó la luz. <laughs> Not good. Not good. Yes. But we are here. Hemos regresado, okay? Hemos regresado. Thank you guys for being here today. It's good to see you again another week. I know today is Tuesday, but welcome again. Another week, another dawn, yeah. Yes, we are about to start. Hmm, we are here. Let me start with the attendance. Ana Victoria Galang is not here for the moment. She will join us later on. Andy Ernesto Martinez. Brian David Ramirez. Carlos Alberto Orrego. Carlos Eliezer Dimas. Christian Alexander Rivera. Denise Alejandra Zúñiga. Present. Thank you. Diana Yamilet Maravilla. No, okay. Edwin Heriberto Delgado. Present. Thank you. Ismael Ernesto Boyar. Present teacher. Thank you, Ismael. Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, Marvin Josue Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you, Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Present. Thanks, Paola Geraldine Santa Maria. Present. Thank you, Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Thank you, Raquel Sandra Ives Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra Sara Rachel Salazar. Veronica Lises Portillo. Present teacher. And Jancy Andrea Solortano. Present teacher. Oh, all right. Thank you guys for being here. Let me just check the listeners. 
I got a message in the chat over here. Ismael will be as a listener today. What about you, Christian? Are you going to be as a listener? And uh, Carlos Alberto, Brian? Good evening, teacher. Uh, yeah, I'm working for now, but uh, I, I'm listening and sometimes I... You can, you can participate. Okay, that's my internet. What about you, Christian? Hi, teacher. I, I am sick, teacher. You're sick. All right. All right. Okay, very well. And if I, is my idea, he let me know about, about him being, being a listener. Let me check what's going on in the group to see if if uh, people have reported or mm. uh, Teacher, no sé si solo soy yo o lo estamos escuchando entrecortado. I think it's, it's my internet connection. It's not working really well. Hello, hello. Me avisan, okay? Me avisan. Si ya se corrige. I'm checking the WhatsApp group to see if... Well, let me check in the computer. It's <laughs> más fácil acá. Yes. Let me know if there is if there is interference, all right? In that way I can repeat I can repeat what I'm saying or what I just said. Alright. Okay, let's begin, people. Thank you for joining today's session. Let's begin with this. Let me show you. Today is not Monday. I did not change this. I was ready for yesterday. And I told you I had a a problem with electricity. Yes. That's why I could not teach the class yesterday. But you can see uh, today is class number 14. Tomorrow we will finish the unit number three or session number three. Today, today's topic is phrasal verbs part number one. Last class on Friday, to be more specific, we were practicing idioms. Idioms part number one. We are going to see idioms again later on, as well as phrasal verbs. We're going to see a bunch of phrasal verbs later on. Today, we're going to see six of them or eight of them, eight of them. And I have some extra ones that are very common as well. So I'm going to show them to you later on. All right. Let's begin with the review. Let's begin. What are idioms? Guys, what are idioms? Do you remember? What is the definition of an idiom? Do you remember? Is not literal, literally. Uh -huh. It's not literal, all right. What else? Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Idioms are a group, a group of words, or a bunch, I guess bunch, for that bunch, bunch, ahí lo envié al chat, un puño, un puñado, okay. Idioms are a bunch of words that do not have a literal meaning, okay. You have this group of words, but the meaning is completely different, yes. For example, we have as sick as a dog. Do you remember what this idiom means? Do you remember as sick as a dog? Do you remember what it means? Very, very sick. Yes, to be very sick. Are you people, are you people as sick as a dog right now? No, nobody? What about Christian? Maybe Christian is as sick as a dog, we don't know. <laughs> no. All right. We hope not. 
Esperemos que no. Okay, yes. So, as sick as a dog means to be very sick. All right, to be very sick. What about the other one? We have under the weather. Under the weather. Do you remember the meaning of this uh, idiom? Under the weather <clears throat> uh, means uh, me siento igual o yo estaba igual o estoy igual. Something, something like that. Something like that. Is there any other opinion or another opinion? I feel sick. Okay. That's the that's the one. Yes, that is the one. To be sick or to feel sick. It's not it, it is not like the previous one. Because the previous one, as sick as a dog, is to be very sick. And under the weather is to feel. Not you're you're not super sick. You're feeling. You're feeling sick. Okay. Como like the, the, the symptoms. Exactly. The symptoms or the beginning. The beginning of it. For example, what's the what's what's the beginning of the flu? The allergy. You get allergies, exactly. You start sneezing. Sneeze. Sneeze. It means estornudar, sneeze or allergies. And also you get sore, sore, sore throat. Okay. You have problems with your throat. Okay. When it hurts, when you drink water, or when you eat, well, especially when you drink water, and it hurts. It hurts. Or when you swallow, swallow saliva. Also hurts, yes. Okay, so that's under the weather when when the symptoms or when the disease or the problem begins. The next one, there is there is something going around. Do you remember about this one? There is something going around. When it's viral. Sorry. When something is viral, like a virus. Exactly. When when a virus is attacking or affecting everyone, okay. Yes. For example, when when, when the when the rainy season is on, well, right now the rainy season, there are many people with the flu, and it's very common to see people with the flu during the rainy season. Okay. So when everybody is getting the flu, we can say, oh, there is something going around. It means that the problem is viral. Okay, or the flu is viral, or the illness is everywhere. Okay, the next one, my stomach is killing me. Está mal, mal escrito, no llévate, no llévate acá, okay? Yes. My stomach is killing me. Let me work up for that. This extra tea doesn't go there. Esa tea no va. What does my stomach is killing me mean, people? Do you remember? It's a heart. Sorry? It's a heart. Okay, it's basically when your stomach hurts or when you have a stomach ache. What do we say? Stomach ache. Stomach ache. You know what that is? Stomach ache? Dolor de estómago. Yes, dolor de panza. <laughs> yes, exactly what Paola said. All right. Yes. Or basically, basically, when you have problems with your stomach, okay, you know you can you can get many many problems with your stomach. The next one, take it easy or take it easy, take it easy or take it easy. What does this mean, people? Do you remember? No?
It's, it's when you are sick, very sick, and you're sleeping on your bed or you're resting on your bed or you're lying down, but you want to move, you want to be moving around, and somebody tells you, hey, man, take it easy. It means rest, okay, rest or relax. Take it easy, relax or rest. When you're sick, you don't want to be bored. You want to be doing many activities in your house or maybe you're doing activities at work or you want to be doing activities at work, but you cannot do that. And somebody tells you, hey, take it easy. That means rest or relax. Can't afford to. Can't afford to. What about this one, people? Do you remember the meaning of it? Can't afford maybe to. you. Uh, you must not do it because you will case serious problem for me. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like it's something that you cannot do. If you do it, you will have consequences. All right, you will have consequences. You, I can afford to. And you have uh, many, many possibilities of problems that you can mention there. Okay. Call in sick. This one is easy. Call in sick. Do you remember about this one? Call in sick. <clears throat> no? Yes, I when I call call my my boss, um I say the o informar, no sé. Uh... Mm -hmm. Report, to report. To report that I am sick. All right, all right. Yeah, it's when you grab, when you grab your phone, your, your cell phone, and you start dialing and you call your boss, your supervisor or your leader, and you're like, hey boss, I'm calling in sick, or... Yeah, I'm calling you sick. It means it means that you are reporting to your boss or anyone in charge about your problem that you cannot attend the company or you cannot go to the place that day or this day. Yes. The next one is tip top shape. Tip top shape. What about this one? Do you remember the meaning of it? I feel excellent. Okay, it's when you feel perfect, when you feel excellent, when you feel good. I'm reading the messages in the group. Okay, apparently we all have we are I have we're having a we're having a problem with the Wi-Fi. People, there's something going around. There you go, you see? There's something going around. Everybody's having issues with the Wi-Fi right now. There's something going around. Okay. These ones, this one, these are the ones that we practiced on Friday. And I was going to show on Friday, I was going to show you uh, another list of them, but I didn't I didn't have enough time. Well, I have them right here. Okay, we can review them, we can see them. They are really easy to understand. Okay, and they are also related to health and illness. Okay, health, salud, illness, enfermedad. Alive and kicking. Look at this one, the first one. Alive and kicking. What does alive and kicking mean? It means in good health despite health problems. Alive and kicking in good health despite a pesar de. Despite significa a pesar de. Okay. En buena salud, a pesar de problemas de salud, okay? Yes. That's what alive and kicking mean, all right? That's what it means. Alive and kicking. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Oh, this one makes sense. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. It means eating healthy when you eat healthy food, vegetables, fruit, uh eggs fish meat you know see eating healthy foods 
will keep you will keep one from getting sick and needing to see a doctor right if you eat healthy you will not go to the doctor very often so an apple a day keeps the doctor away that means that you have to that means you are eating or you have to eat healthy as pale as a ghost tan blanco como un fantasma o tan pálido como un fantasma as pale as a dog it means extremely extremely pale extremely pale as pale as death death con z al final con z death okay dice acá tan pálido como la muerte significa también extremely pale extremely pale pale pálido okay pálido yes all right one, two, three, four. Okay, over here we have four more idioms related to health and illness that we can use, okay? We can use them with no problems. Yes. I got more, don't worry. Look at death's door. At death's door. Okay? En la puerta de la muerte. <laughs> it, it means... Very near death, very near death, it or agonizing, agonizing or very near death. That's what a, do, a death door mean. All right, back on your back on mine feet, back on my feet, como de regreso, okay, de regreso, physically healthy again. Physically healthy again. Okay? Yes. For example, I can tell you, hey, people, on Saturday and Sunday, I was very sick. Okay? But today, I am back on my feet. I am back on my feet. It means that I am physically healthy again. Back on one's feet, physically healthy again. Be on the mend. Be on the mend. That means be improving after an illness. Mejorar después de una enfermedad. Be improving after an illness. Okay? Yes. For example, the same example. I was sick on the weekend. And I can tell you, hey, but today I am on the mend. I am on the mend. It means I am improving after my flu problem, after my stomach problem, after my migraine migraine problem, etc. Bitter pill to swallow. Bitter pill to swallow. Okay, una pastilla amarga para tragar, literalmente. An unpleasant fact that one must accept. Okay, something bad that we need to accept. Okay, something bad that we need to accept. No, but no matter, no matter how bad it is, we need to accept, accept it as it is. Okay, yes. Black and blue. Okay, Ro negro y azul dice black and blue. It means bruised. Bruised. ¿Qué significa bruised? Moretes, moreteado. Okay. O ganan con golpes, golpes, le pegan a alguien en el rostro o se golpean con un accidente en las raspones, aquí con color rojo, uh, morados, that's bruised. Black and blue, bruised, showing signs of having been physically uh, harmed. Showing signs, dice, mostrando señales de haber estado dañado físicamente. Okay, that's what it is. Yes. And I have this, these are the last ones. Catch one's death of cold. Catch one's death of cold to become ill with a cold or flu. Okay. Yes. It's like right now, right now, everybody is catching. Well, my, my death of cold. <laughs> my, you can say, catch my death of cold to become very sick or catch your death of cold to become very ill okay yes enfermarse mucho 
Eso es what it means. To become very ill. Con, una, con un resfriado o con la gripe. Feel on top of the world. Feel on top of the world. That means that you are perfectly fine. Look to feel very healthy. Okay? Sentirse muy saludable. Feel on top of the world. For example, in my case right now, I feel... <clears throat> excuse me. In my case right now, I feel on top of the world. Okay? Me siento en la cima del mundo. <laughs> Literalmente. ¿verdad? Aquí dice, to be very healthy. Estar muy saludable. Go under the knife. Tiene mucho sentido pasar por el cuchillo. <laughs> Go under the knife, undergo surgery. Undergo significa pasar por, okay? Pasar por o experimentar. Undergo, yes. Undergo surgery, surgery, cirugía, okay? Pasar por cirugía. Go under the knife means undergo surgery. And the last one, have one foot in the grave. Oh, no. Have one foot in the grave. Tener un pie en la tumba. Right? It means to be near death. Okay? To be near death. Usually, observen ahí, usually because of old age or illness. Okay? Usualmente por edad avanzada o enfermedad ya de edad avanzada. One, sorry, have one foot in the grave. Okay, and these, these are some idioms that we can use when talking about health and illness. All right? Yes. Let's go on. Continuemos. Now, we're going to go to the book, and I'm going to show you where we're going to be working on. We continue with unit number three, troubleshooting. As you know. Go to page number 35, página 37, page number 35. Let me know. Are you there, people? All right. Okay, it says here, uh, I will be able to ask and answer questions to check that maintenance procedures are met. I will be able to ask and answer questions that to check, sorry, to check that maintenance procedures are met. Remember, maintenance, maintenance. All right, let's begin with the first question. I'm going to ask some people directly. Who is the person who fixes damaged equipment? Yes, let me ask people directly. Mayra, you are the first one. Mayra? Hello, hello, teacher. Hi. The question is for you. Who is the person who fixes damaged equipment in your company? Uh, in my company, um, the fixed um, damaged equipment is um, in engineer, engineer. All right, and what is the process? Um, he is reviewed and cleaner or all the order or thing uh, is necessary for for repair the machinery. So an engineer, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Mayra. Marvin, what about you? Who is the person who fixes damaged equipment in your company? Uh, a technician. We usually work with computers, so we, we call a, a technician 
of the company and he he checked the laptop or the computers he checked the network he he, he checked the the network configuration like if if you don't have internet or something like that okay okay i get it i get it uh what about this question marvin do you do you go to the technician's office or do you call him what do you do what is the procedure I think both. Uh, I usually oh. send send an email, and he he answered to me. Uh, come to my, my office and and take the the laptop with you. Or he tell he told me I will go to uh, uh some some hour in a specific. Okay, I understand. That's okay. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you. Excellent. Let me see, Andy. What about you? Hi. Sorry. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome. Andy, are you there? Um, oh, I don't think he is. Let me see. Carlos Eliezer, what about you? Hello, teacher. Okay, um, the question. Job. I'm sorry. The question is the same. Who is who is in charge of, of fixing the damaged equipment in your company? Um, in my job, the uh, the uh, the mechanic and the technician. Okay, a mechanic and a technician. Yes, teacher. Okay, what is the procedure, uh, Carlos? Do you call him? Do you go to his place? How do you do it? Do you send him an, an email? Uh, no. Um, um, I go, I go to, to the workshop and I tell, uh, or some mechanic or some te te technician, uh, I tell the, uh, we, we need the repair, uh, equipment or, or machine and he, he go with, with me. Okay, okay, I understand. Thank you, Carlos, for your participation. Let me continue with more people. Denise, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, what's your opinion about this one? Our, I mean, what is the process? Or who is the person? What is the process? Um, in my case, I only work with computers, not with machinery. And yes. we have like, um, um, we have support, uh, technical support, mm -hmm. and they help us to fix any problem with the computers. Okay, so you have a place where you can go or you can call to. Okay, I understand. I understand. All right, thank you, Denise, for your participation. Let me try with another person, another man, or a man, Edwin. Uh, hello, yes. <laughs> Who is in charge of fixing the damaged equipment in your company? Uh, well, it's the, it's the same with Marvin because I'm a worker in the same company. And okay. It's the, the same process. Is, yes, the process is... Uh, Reporting for email a uh, technician and technician respond with the day and the hour. He he reviewed the computer or something else is wrong. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. Thank you very much, Edwin, for your participation. Yes. Then we have another question that I'm going to ask to other people. The question is, what are some pieces of equipment you have trouble with? What are some pieces of equipment you have issues or problems with? Let me ask other people, the ones that have not participated. Let's begin with a woman. Yes, you, Paola. Thank you. 
Thank you for volunteering. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you very much for, for raising your hand. <laughs> All right, Paola. I saw you raising your hand. Like this. Mm -hmm. Both hands. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Okay, tell me, what are some uh, pieces of equipment you have problems with? Mm. I don't know, teacher. I think I have no have trouble with any with any equipment yet. Okay. No printers. I, I'm working with computers, so computers, printers. What so what about the problem. what about the camera, the keyboard, the mouse? Um, Sometimes I, I have problems with the keyboard, but I just replace it. All right, easy, right? Easy. <laughs> that, is, that easy, right? That's the best solution. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. I understand. I get it. Thank you. Thank you. Let me try with another person. Jorge. With you, Jorge. The same question. What are some pieces I of equipment you have trouble with? Well, <clears throat> in my company, we have trouble with um, um, specific machines when which which we process the lenses, the lens, the lens. Yes, <clears throat> the, the machines are from um, Germany. Yes, and. We have to import the pieces, pieces, um, when when it's damaged. That's a problem, right? I don't know the name of the pieces. Yes, yes, it's is is so late. It's a long and, time. Yeah, I can <laughs> and and for example, uh, we are import right now a disquette and disquette. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know this cat? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know to be honest. Um, is 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 a device of storage? Oh, it means like oh, they are old, old fashioned. Yes, old, old. Yes, it's old. But yeah. and the machines use a disket to really? upgrade the software. Yes. Really? So the 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 fabricante, the manufacturer, the manufacturer, uh, send the disquette with the software, and and wow. we have to import that. Yes. Wow. Just imagine. But those things are very old, right? Yes, some being being the very old. Yes, very old. The machine is very old too. All right, I get it, I get it. Okay, thank yes. you, Jorge, excellent, excellent. Let me okay. continue with the woman, Sandra, hello. Hello, teacher. Tiempo sin, sin verla, mi hija, como tres semanas que no viene. Hmm. <laughs> Hi, sorry. The same question, what, what are some pieces of equipment you have trouble with? In my case, um, can be trouble with a uh, photocopier or laptop computer, maybe cell phones. What else? Mm -hmm. Um, only that. Okay, okay. Okay, I understand. Thank you. Thank you for that one. We're gonna choose one more person. Let me see. Andy, are you back with us? No, okay. He's not back yet. Uh, well, we do not have more men. Brian is busy. 
we already asked Carlos. All right, let's continue. Let's continue, people. We're going to go to part number two. Thank you for your participation. You did it very well. It's time to continue down here with the second part. Listen to me, read the conversation, then practice with one of your classmates. All right, there is some uh, vocabulary here that we need to review. You might not understand the word, the words over here. Don't worry, I'm going to teach them to you. Yes. It says, uh, it's a conversation between Tom and Dave. Let me start. Listen carefully or pay attention to the pronunciation and also put some emphasis to the words that are in bold. Well, let me highlight them. Yes, to the words in bold. Yes. All right, there you go. Let me read this to you. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great, by the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off, and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you do, if you don't oil, oil it regularly, it will size up eventually. That's correct. All right, there you go. People, we have the vocabulary. We have the conversation. Do you have any questions about it? Uh, yes, I. Uh, what is a spanner in tightening? Okay, tighten spanners, tighten, tighten up. Actually, <clears throat> excuse me. Me da un poco de energía. Let me drink some water. There you go. Sorry. Okay, we got spanner tighten up. More questions. Let me help you with the spanner. Look, English, English key. Literal, in the chat lo puse. <laughs> What's English key, people, in Spanish? Literal. No? You don't get it? In Java Inglesa. Mm -hmm. That's what that is a spanner, spanner, Java Inglesa, okay? Yes, Java Inglesa, that's what it is. Let me go to part number. Vamos a irnos acá abajo mejor, yo solo a vez. Tenemos la parte 5, pero veamos. Hola, hola. Vamos a ver. Vamos acá. Luego ve, vemos qué significa o repetimos qué significa tying up. Tying up is when something, when something is loose, okay, or when screw. Screw, ¿saben qué es screw? No. So, it's, uh, it's a tool when you need to. No. Yes and no. <laughs> sí y no. Sí, sí, yes and no. Desarmador. Yeah. Sorry. Like desarmador. Sí, sí, esa es la herramienta. Pero aquí dice tighten up, tighten up is when you are doing this. It's action. Tighten up, apretar. Yes. Tighten up the screw. Ahora, ¿qué significa screw? Tornillo. Pero ese, ese, that, that, that one, that one is 
es específico que, que tiene, tiene una, una, una cruz o una, o una línea de esos. Yes. Because, because we have we have many, many uh, of these these uh, objects. Hay muchos, muchos tornillos diferentes, el que se enrosca y el que tiene la crucita y el que tiene la, la, la línea. Okay, so screw, screw puede ser la herramienta, la herramienta con la que se soca. También puede ser, también puede ser este, el, el tornillo que estamos tocando, screw de screw. <ríe> y la acción, puede ser la acción que es atornillar o apretar, atornillar más bien. Puede ser el screw, el, 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 la herramienta y puede, también puede ser el tornillo. Yes. For example, you are screwing the screw. Okay, you're screwing the screw with the screw. Yes. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? Yes. More questions, people? No. Not. Well, these ones are easy. Clean up is easy. Switch off is easy. Call up is also easy. What about a size up? You know what size up is? Hello. No, teacher. No. Uh, size up. Yes. Size up. It means, it means. El, el, el up, sí, es. Uh, I don't know what it means, but the size, just size, is it's aprovecharse. Oh, yes. Right? Yes. yes. But, ya con el, but, ya con el up, uh, but up. Cosa. Estirarse? No. Size up. It's like fail, fail, arruinarse o fallar. Fail. Size up is fallar. Yes, yes. That's what it is. Espérame, que creo que acá me equivoqué yo. Vamos a ver acá. Un segundo. Creo que no es size, es cis, cisno. Cisno. Let me look it up. Estaba viendo acá, me recordé la canción de Eminem que dice Seize the moment and don't squander it. De Eminem, la canción, no es size. El size es la, la, la talla. <ríe> yes. Ajá, exacto, exacto. Yes, exacto. Por, yeah, ajá, okay, por eso yes. es que me quedé con fallar. Yes, let, let me show it to you. Acá está, miren. ¿La pueden ver? Yes, acá está. Está cargando. Ay, oh, sí, sí. Seize. Yes. Seize. Seize. Yes. Cis. Sí, sí. Claro, lo coloqué. Cis. Yes. Ok. Sorry, sorry. What it means size up, so? Size up. Size uh -huh. up, sorry. Like I keep, I slant en la mente, eso es el, el cerebro, de que es size, es cis, cis, cis. <laughs> es cis, es cis. Eh, the correct pronunciation is cis up, or size up. No, cis. Cis up. Cis up. Cis up. Yes, cis up. Yeah, I got it. I got it wrong because of the other the other word. Que es size. Que se parece. <laughs> it's my bad. Sorry, people. Because and what is the meaning? Oh, arruinarse. Lo mismo. Arruinarse. Fallar. Uh, yes. Okay. Fail. Yes. So that's what it is. All right. More questions? No? If you don't have more questions, let's practice. Remember Seize up, okay? Not size. My bad, Seize my bad. Up. My mistake, my mistake. Seize up, okay? Yes. Let me see. Two volunteers, two volunteers. Go ahead. Me, teacher. Okay, Brian is one. Who's the other one? Me, teacher. Okay, Denise, go ahead. Thank you both. Go. I'm first. I'm first. Um. Okay, okay Tom, I need your help. 
Can you pass me that spinner, please? I need to uh, tighten or tighten, tighten up the screen. Tighten, tighten, uh, well, tightening up uh, this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks, thanks a lot. Uh, look, uh, did he did clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know, I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. Uh, by the way, did you call up the electrician? Uh, the engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, I will seize up eventually. That's correct. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Excellent. I need two more two more volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, Paola. Me. Me also. Okay, Paola and Marvin. Thank you both. Go ahead. The stage is yours. Ron, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner? Please, I need to tighten up the screw. Sure. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did he clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him for the switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off, and now we have a problem. Yeah, yeah. I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will size it up eventually. That's correct. Okay, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you both for reading. Let's continue with two more people, two more volunteers. Go ahead, guys. Okay, Veronica, we got one. Who is the other one? Mm -hmm. Me. Okay, Edwin, go ahead. Yes, thank you, thank you. Veronica and Edwin. Okay, I'm first. Uh, Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Uh, look, did it he clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he because I asked him the him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, and uh, do you call do you call up uh, the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off, and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't all eat regularly, it will sit. Say see up, say see up Ziza. eventually. Zipsa, Ziza, eventually. That's correct. Thank you, thank you, Edwin and Veronica. You know, for the record, parece que he estado con este módulo como tres veces, cuatro veces, y siempre cometo el error de decir size. Siempre lo, 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 lo confundo con, con, el, con la talla. Y siempre digo size y luego corrijo siempre. Me tengo que acordar que si. La vez pasada se también con otro, con otro grupo, size. Y sigue diciendo size, size. Why, why? <laughs> yes, it happens. It suele, suele suceder. All right. Thank you, thank you, Edwin and Veronica, for participating. Let me continue with two more people, Jorge and Mayra. Go ahead, guys. Okay, teacher. Okay. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me the spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. 
Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? Uh, the engine doesn't stop to turn off, and now we have the problem. Yeah. I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will seize up eventually. That's correct. Thank you, George. Thank you, Mayra. All right, thank you, thank you, Jorge and Mayra. All right, let me continue with two more people. Uh, Diana, Sandra. Hi. Yes, the stage is all thank yours. You. Okay. Um, so I need your help. Can you start me? Does a spider, please? I need to point on the cream, the cream of Sure, here you go. Does a lot. Look the key, the cream of clear, clear the road, the bell for. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Three, did the, with the way did you call the electrician, the engineer, down the thought of through, through all, I know we have a problem. Yeah, I think that I, if you don't oil it regularly, it will say up eventually. That's correct. That's correct. Thank you, Sandra and Diana. Uh, well, besides the listeners, we have two more participants. Those are Raquel and Carlos Eliezer. Okay. Okay, teacher. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spinner, please? I need to taint up this screen. Sure, here you go. That, that's a lot. Look, the clean, kit clean, clean up the room before he left. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him, him to switch up the power. Great. By the, by the way, did you call, call, up, call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop the to turn off, and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil the regular, I will say up eventually. That's it correct. Will up eventually. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for. Participating people, I really, really appreciate your effort. Let's continue. Well, let me help you out. I don't know if you can see the words that I share in the chat. Can you see them? Some verbs, four of them to be specific. Do you see them? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Do you know the pronunciation? No. Kind of, maybe. All right, let me help you out with this one. With this ones. Uh, if you see all of them, the all of them end with T, well, 10, number 10, right? 10, like T and T E N, T E N, and T E N. All of them. That pronunciation or that, that syllable, that syllable goes like this. Titan, okay, Titan. Titan, threaten, eaten, and written. Right? It's not, it's not, you can say Titan. Yes, you can say Titan. But it sounds better to say Titan, Titan, Titan. Uh, you're like, you're pronouncing the word as if there is no E. Okay? La dicen como si no hubiera una, una E ahí en medio. Titan. Titan, 
All right, tighten, threaten. Okay, threaten, amenazar. Threaten. Eaten, comido. Eaten, eaten. Okay, written, escrito, written. Okay, you have to, you have to pronounce it like that. Yes, yes. But if you do not believe me, I can show you here in this this uh dictionary. This this dictionary is very good. Let me share the sound. Partida sonido que no tiene son. This dictionary is very good because you can hear the word over there. It shows you the pronunciation over here. Look, as you can see, like this one. Let me let's listen to it. Seize. There you go. Seize. And the one I was telling you about. Let me show it to you. Listen to it. Titan. See, Titan. Titan. It's not Titan. It's Titan. Titan. Okay, there you go. Listen. Titan. 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 Yes, look. And the meaning is over here. All right? Yes. Apretar. En el contexto que estamos viendo, apretar. Okay. Acá está. Observen. Uh, another one, amenazar, dijimos, ¿verdad? Está por acá. Listen to it. Threaten. 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 Yes. And you have more pronunciations, of course. Look, you got a bunch of different places where you can, you can get it, like, you know, Irish, Scottish, Jamaican. That's different, okay? They pronounce it differently. But this is in the U.S. Look, U.S. Yes, that is the, the pronunciation that we're seeking. Yes. We're seeking that pronunciation. So that one is, is close to the one. All right. Uh, we're back in the in the book. We're going to review the phrasal verbs later on. Don't worry about it. Here. Three questions. What seems to be the problem? That's question number one. Question number two. What kind of jobs do you think Dave and Tom have? And the last one. Who is in charge of checking the machinery and equipment at your workplace? Well, we already uh, answered this one, number three. We're going to answer question number one and question number two. Let me give you two minutes. One minute per question. Go ahead, individually, one minute per question. Go guys, go. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's answer the first question. What seems to be the problem? Can you tell me what the problem is? Anyone? 
Jim doesn't sort of. The machine doesn't turn off before, right? Yeah. Yes. In, in Brian, what is your answer? Can you read it? Can you share share with everyone? I suppose I think the uh, what seemed to, to be the problem for me is the Tom um, need to tighten tighten up this the screw. Uh, uh, I don't know that mm, this is the principal problem. Okay, you you're talking about the first one, right? In the first paragraph, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, is there another person, or is there anyone who has a different answer? Uh, for me, is the engine doesn't stop to interrupt, and now we have a problem, and we okay. turn off the engine. Uh, because this need oil it regularly. Okay, okay, I understand, I understand. Well, I believe that that is the problem. The engine doesn't stop to turn off because it doesn't have enough oil. Okay, look, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will seize up eventually. Yes. So the, the machine, the engine, pardon, the engine, the engine won't stop to turn off. Acá está, eso está erróneo ahí, me lo corregí, pero en el chat mejor. Eso es mal. Me acabo de dar cuenta. Go to the chat, you will see it there. They are different. Both both are correct, but they are different. They are used differently. Yes, in this case, is the engine doesn't stop turning off. Yes, not to turn off. Okay. So yes, sí, sí, sí. aquí aquí dice, miren, Le voy a explicar cómo dice acá. Dice el motor no se detiene para apagarse. Entonces no tiene sentido. Si sí, mejor, doesn't stop turning off. No deja de apagarse. That's better, better. Yes. All right. Second question. What kind of jobs do you think Dave and Tom have? People? I think uh, they are from maintenance. Okay, you think they are from maintenance? I believe so too. Yes, I believe so too. I believe that they belong to the maintenance area or to the maintenance department. Yes, because they're talking about fixing or uh, maintaining uh, machines. Number three, we already worked on this one at the beginning of the class, so we do not have to answer it again. Let's continue with the grammar parts. Yes, it says here how to use phrasal verbs. Yes, phrasal verbs. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the the definition right here in the presentation. So let's go to the presentation because I have everything right there. Yes, look. Uh, look at the definition. What is a phrasal verb? What is a phrasal verb? A phrasal verb is a verb combined with a preposition. Both the verb and the preposition create... I need water again. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Both the verb and the preposition create... Look at that one. Very important. Create another definition away from the verb original meaning. For example, ¿qué significa get? Ir a, por agua, permítame un segundo. Piensen, piensen, ¿qué significa get? Como dar, algo así. Wait, give me a second. 
obtener o, con, o, o obtener y conseguir de manera literal yes yes I'm back revise rápido I got my my water I got my water thank you conseguir obtener miren el verbo get es un verbo multiuso se usa por se usa como por 20 verbos que okay, comprar entender obtener tener uh, qué más bueno, no recuerdo muy bien, pero sí, sí. Puede reemplazar como 20 verbos. Yes. All right. So we have the verb get, que significa, pongámoslo, conseguir u obtener. What does, what does get up mean? Ahora, ¿qué significa get up? Levantarse. Exactly, exactly. Imagínense, conseguir o obtener arriba. That would be, that would be the, the literal meaning. Conseguir arriba o, o obtener arriba. Okay, it makes, it makes no sense. Tiene sentido. So, get up, ya ponemos el verbo get con una preposición, ya sea on, in, about, for, up. Of, obtenemos otro significado completamente diferente al del verbo original. Ok. Take a look. Tenemos también otro acá. Les muestro. Oops. Look. Get off. Get off. ¿Qué significa get off? Bajar o bajarse. I'm sorry. Bajar o bajarse, si no, eh, si no mal recuerdo. Yes. Yes. For example, eh, you are, you, yes? Sorry, teacher. Eh, get, get, get off? It's the same, it's the same word or preposition, eh, whatever you like, eh, eh, that get down. It's the same or not, or it's different? Get down, es, get down es agacharse. Forget it, forget it, forget it. Me, me acaba de, de dar la ahorita, lo siento. Sí, yes. cierto, cierto, cierto. Yes. All right. Don't, don't get confused. <laughs> okay. Excellent. So, get off, el más común es bajarse de un vehículo, okay? I got off the car, I got off the bus, I got off the airplane or the plane. También se puede usar cuando queremos, cuando alguien nos toca pagar la mano o nos quiere tocar, decimos get off, como quítate, aléjate. Otro, otro significado, ok, get off. Tenemos también acá, let's see, let's take a look, get in. Get in. What is get in, people? Lo contrario, entrar. Okay, entrarse. That, that will be the opposite, the opposite of get off. Get off is when you get out of a vehicle. And get yeah. in is when you go inside the vehicle. Okay? Yes. And get away? What about this one? Get away. Sorry? Alejarse o escapar. Yes, yes. Alejarse, escapar. It has it has different different meanings, okay? Yes. Así como pueden ver, tenemos el verbo get, que es conseguir. Uh, podemos incluirle cualquier preposición, ok, si sí, está estipulada, por supuesto, y cambiaremos el significado completamente. Yes. También hay uh, phrasal verbs más complejos que tienen dos preposiciones, ok. Hay uno con el get, sí, hay uno con el get. Get along with. Get along with. O sea, ¿qué significa eso? Creo, creo que está más adelante. Aquí lo, lo agregué, creo. No, no recuerdo muy bien si lo agregué. Ya lo veremos. Si está aquí. Si no, se lo, yo se lo diré. Ok, iniciamos con tighten up. Tighten up. Aquí está. To make something become, become tighter, firmer, or less easy to move. Fortalecer, apretar, lo que dijimos, ¿verdad? That's what tighten, tighten up is. Tighten up. Ok, tighten up. Recuerden, tighten, tighten. Dicen tight y luego la N. Mm. 
tighten, 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 tighten up. I have some examples down here. I tightened up the tires once in a blue moon. Dice acá, aprieto. Bueno, no las llantas, ¿verdad? Y los tornillos. <laughs> Yo puse llantas ahí. De... Uh, I'm sorry. I tighten up the tires once in a blue moon. I said, tightened up the screws. Okay, Isaac, apretó los tornillos. The carpenters tighten up the tools before they use them. Okay, yes. The carpenters tighten up the tools before they use them. For example, the drills, taladros, los apretan antes de usarlo, ¿verdad? They tighten up before they use them. All right? Yes, we have three examples about the, the first of our tighten up. Yes. Look at this one. Clean up. To make a person or place clean and tidy. Tidy means organized. Organized, tidy. To make a person or place clean and tidy. Yes, that's clean up. Okay. But what is the difference between clean and clean up? Alguien lo puede decir? Clean and clean up. Clean and clean up. Yes. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre clean, solo el verbo clean, y clean up? No. Clean is an adjective. No. Es un verbo. Es un verbo. And clean up. I clean. I clean. Por clean ejemplo, es como limpiar y clean es limpio, algo así. Posiblemente. Pero estamos como verbo. También clean es un verbo, ¿ok? Que es limpiar. No hay días. Really, no. Okay. I have a idea. Ok, I, ok, no problem, no problem. Es, explico. Clean es limpiar de forma general. ¿Ok? Y clean up se especifica cuando hay objetos en el suelo o en la mesa que hay que levantarlos. Como limpiando, pero levantando. Por ejemplo, hey, le dice a su mamá a ustedes, hey, clean up, clean up your room. Significa que hay muchas cosas en el suelo, en el piso, que hay que levantar, limpiándolas, levantándolas. Okay. Tiene sentido, ¿verdad? ¿No? O when you eat, o when you finish, when you yes. finish eating, when you finish eating, you have many forks, tenedores, tenedores, spoons, a knife, and plate on the table. Tienen platos, tienen uh, servilletas, tenedores y cucharas en la mesa. After you finish eating, right? Después de comer. Y decimos, clean up the table. No decimos clean the table. Si decimos clean the table, tiene que ir a la mesa, la mesa, la mesa. Ok, general. If I say clean up the table, es limpiar la que está sobre la mesa. Levantar las cosas que están sobre la mesa, limpiar la mesa, pero... <laughs> you understand, right? Do you understand? Está un poco complicado. Es una limpieza más profunda, más... Es como... Ajá, es que me, eh, me estaba poniendo a pensar en el primer ejemplo. Cuando... Cuando un familiar me manda a ordenar mi cuarto, como lo acabo de hacer, ordenar el cuarto. Sin embargo, el clean up sirve como para generalizar esos dos conceptos. No sé si estoy mal. Tanto ordenar, que implica lógicamente levantar, reordenar, sacudir, etc. Todo lo que estoy mencionando se encierra en un clean up. Exacto, exacto. Así clean sería. Up es limpiar levantando. Yes. Uh, ya. Yeah. Ok. Como digo, I clean the table significa yo limpio la mesa, literal, la mesa. Si yo digo clean up the table, es limpiar lo que está sobre, siempre la mesa, pero lo que está sobre la mesa, no la mesa en sí, sino los platos, tenedores, todo eso. Eso es clean up. También está clean out y también está clean off. Hay, tres, hay dos más. Clean, clean out, que es limpiar hacia afuera o limpiar siempre, pero Uh, sacar todo hacia afuera, 
porque sacar todo afuera, ¿qué es eso? <ríe> sacar todo, ¿ok? Y estar clean off, es como una, o sea, una mancha en la mesa, decimos, hey, clean that off. Limpiarlo, pero desaparecerlo de la mesa, como borrarlo. Es complicated. <ríe> es complicated, tipo. But clean up. Ok, that's what it is. Observen acá. I got some examples. I have to clean up the, the kitchen before I leave. Ok. Yes, clean up. Tenemos ahí, después de cocinar, cacerolas, cuchillos, uh, cebolla o cualquier cosa ahí. Clean up is we pick everything. Levantamos todo. We, we pick it up. We, we pick everything up. Levantamos. Ok, that's clean up. Look. People should clean up before they go to work. Before they go to work. Clean up in the house, like the pajamas, the shoes. Okay, look. Jose never cleans up his office. It's filthy. Filthy significa sucio, dirty. Lo mismo que, lo mismo que dirty, dirty. Jose never cleans up his office. All right? Yes. This one, switch off. Switch off. To stop a device powered by electricity. Okay? Stop a device powered by electricity. Yes. But we got the switch. We got the switch, right? Switch off. Yes. Examples. Can I put it Me, teacher. Okay, Brian, go ahead. The examples, she switches. Sorry. She switched off the blender. Mauricio switched. Hey, Sorry. Mauricio switched off the video camera. At night, Marta switched off the AC. Okay, there you go. She switched off the blender. Mauricio switched off the video camera. And at night, Marta switches off the AC. All right. What is in Spanish, people? Do you know? What? Switch off. Apagar. Apagar. All right. All right. Look at this one. Call up. It says, yes. Okay. Switch off. Apagar. To use the phone to call, to talk to someone. Sorry. To use the phone to talk to someone. I cannot, example, I cannot call her up in the middle of the night. You can call up and leave a message if I'm out. The boss called you up twice already. Yes. Excuse me, let me drink some water. We're back. Sorry. My apologies. So basically, basically call up means to, to, to use the phone, the cell phone, to talk to someone, right? That's what call up is. Let's carry on. Seize up. Look, to stop being able to move. Teacher. Seize up. Yes, Veronica. Can you preview the, the slide? Ajá. Es que no entiendo. Está como en medio el eh, de here. Can you... Oh, acá, esta. Sí. Sí. Sí, sí. Ok. Hay muchos phrasal verbs que se pueden dividir. Metemos o incluimos ah. la persona en medio. Sí. Ok. La hay excepción. que no se pueden separar. <ríe> Casi la mayoría son separables. La mayoría son separables. Aunque puede decir, I cannot call up. Y luego el nombre específico de la persona. Si ponemos her después, ya es incorrecto. Yes. Ok. Yes. I'm sorry. I, I, I si lo puse. Ok. Decimos, decíamos, seize up to stop being able to move or work in the normal way. Fallar, como dijimos. Ok. Fallar. The washing machine totally seized up on Wednesday. The washing machine to totally seized up on Wednesday. 
The traffic had seized up for miles because of the roadworks. Okay, look, to move in the normal way or to work in the normal way, traffic was, you know, slowing down everyone. My motorcycle has seized up seven times already. I always, I always forget to boil, to put oil in it. All right, there the, you go. Teacher. Hello. Uh, in the last, in the last sentence, in on the final part, the uh, I always forget to put all in it. It's a uh, other phrasal verbs. The uh, put all in, or put, not put put in. Yes, it's yes. the other phrasal verbs, right? Yes, put in exactly. Se puede. Yes, yes. All right. Turn off. Look at this, turn off. To stop giving electricity power to the machine by unplugging it or moving the switch. The mechanic turned off the car when the gasoline was spilled. And my son doesn't like to turn off the fan. All right. Now I ask, what is the difference between switch off and turn off? Do you know? Si no me equivoco, el switch off and switch on, creo que se refiere a más o menos a lo que usted nos explicaba de la acción en general, de literal presionar un switch. Y el turn off creo que implica un poco más de, no sé, si es algo un poco más manual, por decirlo así. Se me viene a la mente el encender y el apagar un vehículo. Yeah, we can say, we can say that, we can say that, yes. You know, a switch is just having a switch, right? It's a tick, tick, dos, 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 tick, tick, tick. It's a switch. Y saben que ya saben que es turn, verdad? Turn is girar o dar vuelta. Okay. Podríamos decir que el switch off es con referencia a un switch que solo encendemos y apagamos con un botón, okay? Hacia arriba, hacia abajo, hacia un lado, como sea. Y el turn ya es girando un objeto para apagarlo también, okay? Or, or we can say, okay, because we can say this, they are the same. Son lo mismo, okay? Se puede decir también que son lo mismo, okay? I can say, for example, I turn off the light or I switch off the light. Es lo mismo. Yes. We can use them interchangeably. No problem. Tenemos uno más. Okay. Acá tengo los extra que les mencionaba. Some extra phrasal verbs. Esto que están acá no están en el libro. Okay. Uh, they are very common. Put off. Put off means postpone. Postponer. It's a put off. Okay. For example, I am going to put off the meeting. I am going to put off the meeting. Aquí está, miren. <laughs> no, different example. I am going to put off the seminar. Okay. Voy a posponer el seminario. Right, call off, it's similar to put off, but call off is cancel, okay? Cancelar definitivamente, cancelar. Call off, cancel, okay? Example, uh, the teacher called off the class. El maestro canceló la clase. The teacher called off the class. Take off, este take off tiene muchos significados, okay? Take off, el más básico es to remove clothes from you. Okay, or to remove clothes items, anything, anything. Shirts, glasses, earrings, necklaces, bracelets, rings, uh, nails. Okay, cualquier cosa que se pongan, se la pueden quitar. You can use take off to remove whatever you have on you. Yes. And also to leave a place. Esto también, también significa dejar un lugar o irse de un lugar. For example, people, hey, it's 12 p.m. I'm going to take off. I'm going to take off. Ya me voy. Okay. I'm going to take off. Bye. Me voy. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Give up. Give up también es muy común. Give up means to quit. Darse por vencido o rendirse. Acá, quit significa renunciar. Renunciar. 
Give up to quit. Okay. Abandonar, renunciar, darse por vencido. Run out of. Yes. With the gasoline, uh, money. People, I ran, I ran out of money yesterday. Me quedé sin pisto ayer. Run out of significa quedarse sin. Bueno, acá está. Dice, to finish what you have. To finish what you have. My car is going to run out of gasoline tomorrow. Yes. Right? That's what uh that what, what it means. Get along with, again, as I mentioned, get along with, al principio, get along with. It's when you have a good relationship with a person. To have a good relationship with a person. With a person. And la última, put up with. Put up with means tolerate. Tolerate, tolerar. Put up with. Yes. For example, I don't. I don't put up with noisy people. Okay, noisy people. A los ruidosos, no tolera personas ruidosas. I, I don't put up with noisy people. Y si pueden observar acá, hay verbos, perdón, phrasal verbs, que solamente están con una preposición y hay algunos que tienen dos preposiciones. Por ejemplo, out of, que tiene dos, along with, también tiene dos, y put up with, tiene dos también. Example, examples. We have put off the meeting twice this week. Hemos cancelado, perdón, hemos pospuesto la reunión dos veces esta semana. We have run out of stationery. Okay, se nos ha acabado la papelería. The boss gave up on the project. Aquí el jefe se rindió o dejó el proyecto. The supervisor took off after the workshop. Okay, el supervisor se fue después del taller. Okay, yes. Do you have any questions, people? Teacher, I, I have one question. What it means stationary? Stationary, papelería. Stationary. Oh. Stationary. Oh, Con papel bon, este, sobres, uh, que más puedes decirle, facturas, cosas que se ocupan para, para computación. O en la oficina, papeles que se ocupan en la oficina, sobres, folders, stationery en general. Yes. More questions? Uh, all right, all right, all right. It's gone. Let's continue. I don't understand. All right. Y aquí hay dos más. Bueno, uno más, uno más que no les he explicado. Ya expliqué call off que estaba allá en la, en la dispositiva. Acá está el call off. Okay, Mary called off the meeting. Mary canceled the meeting. Okay, decía que, que call off significa cancelar. Take after. Miren este que está acá. Take after. Take after significa parecerse. Yes. That's what it is. For example, look at it. He takes after his father. Look, he looks. Okay. Él se parece a su papá o se comporta or he behaves like his father. All right? Yes. Very good. Vamos acá abajo. Parte 5 dice match each verbs. Match each verb with its preposition and complete each sentence with one of them. Okay? Yes. Vamos a atrasar una línea para juntarlos y luego vamos a usar acá abajo en la parte uh, bueno, parte 5 siempre tenemos 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, well 5, 5 of them that we have to complete ok, go ahead people iniciemos parte 5 
Trazamos líneas y luego hacemos la parte de abajo. I'm going to give you four minutes. Cuatro minutos. I have run out of water.
Thank you, teacher. Thank you, thank you. Let me do something. Give me a second. I'm gonna see if I can find some useful information. All right, uh, let me tell you that I have shared with you a PDF file through the WhatsApp group. In that PDF file, you can find uh, many phrasal verbs, well, a lot of them. Yes, I cannot share that PDF with you right now because it has a watermark. Tiene marca de agua, entonces no puedo mostrarlo. Yes. Uh, well, if you can see it, you, you can check it out later on. You can see uh, and you can practice them in your houses or at work. Whenever you can, you can practice the phrasal verbs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Here, put back here. Okay. Guys, are we done? Estamos listos? Yes, teacher. Yes. I have something in my eye, but in me. But it was in your law. Okay. We are ready. All right, let's uh, match the words with the prep, the verbs with the prepositions. This one is easy, right? Switch, people, switch. We got tied in up already. Switch. Switch off. Switch all right, off. switch off. All right, all right. Clean. Up. Okay. Clean up. Clean up, yes, thank you. What about C's? Up. Okay, C's up. Yes, this one. <laughs> turn. What is but what about turn? Oh. Turn off. Turn up or turn off? Off. Off. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Call. Call off. Up. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Okay. Yes. Muy bien. Excellent. Excellent. The other parts, part number, uh, well, we have an example here. 
Can you pass me that spanner? I need to tighten up this bolt. Bolt, tornillo también. Tornillo parece que el, el, de, el de... ¿Cómo es que se llama en ese? Que es con la llave que se da vuelta. No sé cómo se llama. No, perno. Perno, tornillo. Yes. Number two. ¿Quién la puede leer? Number two. Um, this workshop is very dirty. Let's clean up this place. Okay, let's clean up. Let's clean up this place. Yes. All right. Three. Remember, remember, yes, go. remember to turn off the power before you remove the machine. Turn off. Okay. Remember to turn off. Um, Yes. So what's number number three? Switch up. Yeah, switch off. Oops. This is something here, yes. Okay, remember to switch off the power before you remove the machine. And uh, number four, can can you read it? I can la puedo leer. I hope the computer won't turn off again. Thank you. I hope this the computer won't turn off again. Yes. Number five. Anyone? If you don't replicate this type of machine regularly, they will up. Okay. If you don't lubricate this much this type of machines, I can still un error también, mira. I don't know why. I'm sorry that I have to write a mistake. If you don't lubricate these types of machines regularly, they will seize up. And the last one, the printer. The printer just stopped working. We need to call up or call up a technician. Okay, the printer just stopped working. We need to call up a technician. Call up. Okay, there you go. We have the examples. Excellent. We have the solution to them. We got it. Yes. Now, do you have any last questions? No. No. Okay. No. Let's see now. Probably something. Yeah. Okay. This one is about make creating conversation, but we do not have enough time to do that. We don't have enough time to do that. We hemos practicado hemos practicado los los phrases que están en el libro. Let's practice this one. Practiquemos lo que están acá, los extra. Okay. People, I need you to give me, give me, or try to give me an example using the extra phrasal verbs. Vamos, iniciamos. Go, go. Let me hear you guys. Oh. The teacher called off the class yesterday. Hey. Not me, not me. <laughs> it was not me. Okay, but example is okay. The teacher called off the class yesterday. Okay. Yes, yes, it is it is true. <laughs> All right. Are you must any anyone? Uh, me teacher. This day I have I have put off a workshop in La Union. Repeat it. And this day I, I have to put, put off the workshop in La Unión. 
Okay. Did you understand? Don't, don't pull it off. <laughs> yes. También put up en in contexto diferente es apagar. Okay. Like put up a fire, mm. apagar. That's a different thing, okay? Yes, thank you, thank you. Anna, another example? Me, teacher? Go, go. Yes, thank you. I'm starting to get along with the, my new co-worker. My new co-worker? Wow. Yeah. A woman? Mm. I think it's false. <laughs> Why do you think it's false? That's very funny. <laughs> I think I think it's a woman. That's why. Uh, I think yes. Yeah. No comment. <laughs> all right, all right. People, go ahead, go ahead. I'm here. Okay, me teacher. Uh, another phrasal verse, right? I look up the best price. I look. I look up the best price. I look up for. I look up for the best prices. All right, you must. Yes, it's sure. I get up at my job. Sorry. I get up my job. Patalgo. Okay. I am. No, no, mira. I have. No, it's put up with. Lleva el with. Acá está, miren, lo último. Put up with. Oh, no, get up. Oh, give up. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Repítalo. I get up my job. I give up on, sería ahí. Le colocamos el on. On, oh, okay. I give up on my job. Okay. Se da por vencido en su trabajo. <laughs> All right. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? What else, people? Go ahead, go ahead. I don't put up with good conversation. Repeat it. I don't put up with rude conversation. Okay. All right, all right. Good example. Anyone else? Uh, the client gave up on the project after six months. Repeat. I did not get the first part. The client uh -huh. gave up on the project after six months. Mm, gave up en pasado. No, uh, gave up. Okay. All right, people, continue. Uh, we must to off or the line. I gave a for leaving. Repeat it, please. We must do off. Uh -huh. or, or the lanes again before leaving. Okay, you must turn off all the lines, creo que dijo, the lines before you leave. Yes, that's Luther. Okay. King Mas, Alguien Mas? I call off the customer because I have other three meetings. I turn off the customer, dijo. Call off, call off, call off the customer. Mm, maybe, maybe the customer session or the customer meeting, porque ese es call off para cancelar un evento. Okay. Yes, like they have to say call off the, the client or the customer meeting. Yes. Anyone else? Uh, 
my coworker run out of vacation. My coworkers run out of attention. Yes. Okay, okay. Funciona, funciona. Se le acabó la atención. Okay. I get it, I get it. What else? <laughs> Alguien más? It's possible to say I get along with my friends. Yes, I get along with I get along with my friends. Yes. All right. I think we got it. Okay, we have uh, finished people. Thank you very much. ¿Por qué no funciona esto? cierre esto y ya. Okay, let me announce the winner. Anuncio ganador de este día será que se quede. Vamos a ver. Sorry. Sandra, hello. Usted. Hello, Sandra. It's your turn. I know. What? I mean, it's very happy to know. Yeah. Okay. Sandra, it is your turn to stay after class. Okay, a couple of minutes. Thank you. No se escape, okay? No se escape, no se escape. Sorry, teacher. Do not go, all right? People, I want to just emphasize on something on a specific uh, activity. And it is to continue working on the platform, all right? Uh, tomorrow will be the last day. Uh, well, today was supposed to be the last day, but since we called off yesterday's class, we have to continue working on the platform. Tomorrow will be the last day to complete session number three or unit number three, all right? I will be checking uh, in tomorrow in the afternoon and uh, tomorrow after class, I will check as well to see how much you have progressed, okay? So do not forget to work on the platform because it is very, very important uh, for me because I'm, I'm, up, I'm up to date and for you guys uh, to avoid, uh, to avoid the, the, the too many activities later on, yes. Teacher, what yes. is the last homework in the platform? Uh, what do they do? One. The last homework um, in this week. The last one will be. Uh, ¿Cuál es la última tarea en la cual se tiene que ir para ir al día, prácticamente? Uh, activity number five. Session number five. session number three. Activity number five is the last one. The last one. Okay. Yes. Yes. Today we well. Uh, today we are supposed to finish or do activity number four or task number four, and tomorrow task number five. Yes. Okay. Very good. Let me take attendance, people, and we will be free to go. Ana Victoria Galán. Thank you. Andy Ernesto Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ryan David Ramirez. Present teacher. Thanks. Carlos Alberto Orrego estuvo y, y no estuvo. Creo que se fue o no. Se parece que se fue mal. No, ahí está. Bien. Está de oyente. Carlos Eliezer Dimas. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Christian Alexander Rivera. Denise Alejandra. Thank you, Christian. Present teacher. Thank you, Diana Yamilet Maravilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Diana. Edwin Heriberto Delgado. Present teacher. Ismael Ernesto Boyad. Thank you, Edwin. 
Present teacher. Thank you, Jorge Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you, Marvin Josue Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you, Marvin. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Present. Uh -huh, excellent. Paola Geraldine Santa Maria. Present. Thank you, Paola. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Thank you, Sandra Ives Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you, Sara Rachel Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you, Veronica Alicia Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Veronica and Jancy Andrea Solorzano. That's good. Yes. Thank you, Carlos. Okay, people, thank you very much for joining today's session. I will see you tomorrow. All right. If everything goes well, I will see you tomorrow. All right. Yes. Stay here. Have a good night. Descanse en Berman. Y nos guachamos mañana. Nos vemos. Nos vemos mañana. Okay. Cuídense mucho. Thank you, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Everybody. Good night. Bye. 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 Dear Sandra, you Bye, can teacher. Good night. Bye. Escucha, <laughs> escucha. Bye, Carlos. Thank you. Carlos is asleep. Yes. He is as a listener today, or he was as a listener today. All right, Diana, Diana, Sandra. <laughs> okay, Sandra, we have a couple of minutes to clear or answer any of your questions, any of your confusion, or any of your complication about the previous topics, about extra topics, or any questions you have about English. Um... Maybe in the um, in the part is with an old it's an old it's not allowed. Oh it's not allowed. It is not allowed. Yes. When when I when I try to use with the pronouns. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Pongamos B. Oops. Not oops, allowed to. Be not allowed to. Ese B se puede usar con todo. Bueno, se usa el, el B significa am, is, are. Okay. Yes. Tres, tres, tres partes del verbo. Pongamos acá. B equals. ¿Cuánto es igual acá? Am, is, are. All right? That is B. Entonces, hacemos lo siguiente. I am, perdón. I am not allowed to observe it. You are not allowed to. She is not allowed to. He is not allowed. It is not allowed to. Es el que, el que vimos. Be, el, 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 it is not allowed. Mm -hmm. We are. Allowed. And they are not allowed to. All right. Así serían, con todos los pronombres. Luego hay que usarlo también con personas, nombres de personas, por ejemplo, María. ¿Qué sería con María? María is not allowed. Not allowed to. To use. 
Estamos aquí, Francisco. It's not allowed. Uh, it's not allowed to. Oops. Pongamos the doctors. It's not allowed. Hmm? Why? <laughs> the doctors are not allowed. So. Ah, right. Are not allowed <laughs> to. Juan and Enrique. They are not allowed. Or allowed. they allowed. Yes, así sería. Are not allowed. Y así es como se usa. Okay? Con todos es lo mismo, lo que cambia es el verbo be. Hay que enfocarnos o poner atención al sujeto para saber qué forma de be vamos a usar. Okay? También se puede usar en afirmativo, claro que sí. Solo borramos el not y decimos I am allowed to. ¿Ok? Se me permite y no se me permite. Y aquí podemos usar cualquier verbo con tal de que tenga sentido, por supuesto. Pongamos unos verbos acá a la parte de esto. Pongamos aquí I am not allowed to raise my hand. Okay. No se me permite levantar la mano. Here is an example. Okay. I am not allowed to raise my hand. Después del to usamos un verbo que tiene que ir en su forma base y sin importar la persona. Okay. Puede ser con ella, con él, con, con ellos, con, con todos los sujetos, con María, con Francisco. Cualquier sujeto siempre irá al verbo en su forma base. Lo que cambiará va a ser el am, el is y el are. Solo eso, lo demás siempre estará, estará ahí. Si usted puede ver, está todo repetido. Not allowed to, not allowed to, not allowed to, en todo así es lo mismo. Y lo que cambia solamente es el verbo be, el am, el is y el are. Yes. You are not allowed to stay in the office after 5 p.m. Ok. Dice aquí, dice acá, no está permitido quedarse en la oficina después de las 5. Es un ejemplo, all right? Vamos acá. She's not allowed to talk about her life. Okay? She's not allowed to talk about her life. No se le permite a ella hablar sobre su vida. Es un otro ejemplo. Okay? Give me one. Give me an example. Like one. He is not allowed. On este, he is not allowed to. He is not allowed to use the computer. Okay. To use the computer. Use. use the computer. Okay. He is not allowed to use the computer. What about the other one? Siguiente. It is not allowed to turn off. Mm -hmm. Turn off what? The light. Turn off the light. Okay. He is not allowed to turn off the lights. And was like, you are not allowed to, do you Coming late. Uh, okay. Come late. You are not allowed to come late. Muy bien. Vamos aquí abajo con, con María y con Francisco. María is not allowed to. Right. In mm -hmm. the walls, on at, at the wall. On the wall. On the wall. Okay, Maria is not allowed to write on the wall. Uno más con Francisco. Francisco is not allowed to construct, construir, construction. Build. Build. Build the mm -hmm. tower. Build. Build. Construir. 
tower. The tower, no torre. Yes. Okay. Sí, entiende, Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Más o menos entiende o lo entendía más o menos. Um, yes. It's clear. Como les comento, lo que, lo que cambia acá es el verbo be, el am, y el is y el are. Tiene que fijarse quién, quién es el sujeto para poder usar el am, el is y el, o el are. Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Well, do you have more questions, Sandra? No, teacher, only that. Only that, okay. Well, uh, thank you for staying. I really appreciate it. And I will see you tomorrow, okay? Have a good night. Y descanse. Yes. No, yes, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Cuídense mucho, cuídense mucho. Descanse.